In this module, we are going to learn about some of the additional Excel options that you can use within your data warehousing environment. Traditionally, what we've used so far in these particular tools has been either SSIS and SQL Server Management Studio. But if you have implemented and deployed the Microsoft Office suite of tools, within that you will also get Microsoft Excel, Access, obviously Word as well. So we're going to take a look at how we can utilize Excel within our data warehousing environment. This is just kind of an overview. First of all, let me come over here, and I've already opened up my SQL Server Management Studio. So within my SQL Server Management Studio, we can see that I have the AdventureWorks instance. Now if I expand on databases, these are all of the databases that I have within this AdventureWorks install. So now let me go ahead and minimize this. Now to utilize Excel, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna to go to Start, All Programs, Microsoft Office, and I'm gonna open up Excel. And let me go ahead and bring this down here just a little bit so we can see a little bit better. Now, what we have within Excel, you can see because we have implemented certain things like master data services, data mining, we also have a utility here called Power Pivot. So if I go to Power Pivot, and this is very important to know, we have Power Pivot as well as Power View. Power Pivot is an ability that is kind of tied into Microsoft Excel. And Power View is the ability for us to tie into reporting services and kind of get quick at a glance information. So we can kind of create down and dirty, very, very quick reports with Power View. But Power Pivot is the Excel add in. And this is something that ultimately you will have to add in. It doesn't come out of the gate. But if you install the master data services and some other features, you can get Power Pivot. Now, what's important to know is under this Power Pivot window, we have the Power Pivot window. We also have the ability to create a link table, and then we can update those linkages. Basically, what this means is I can come over here, and then we can create a link table that's going to be linked to an Excel project or Excel object. Then, what I can do is with this object right here is update all for those tables that are linked to additional Excel spreadsheets. This is very, very important because I may have created a series of linked tables that are related to additional Excel spreadsheets. And those Excel spreadsheets may have been updated over time. Well, then if I want to update all of the links, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and update all. And that's exactly what this does. It is important to note that this is under the Power Pivot option in Excel spreadsheet. Then we can enable or disable automatic detection or relationships from a field list. So effectively what's happening here with our Excel spreadsheets is that we're kind of creating a little miniature relational database, if you will, only if we have the Power Pivot feature installed. So we have the abilities to link Excel spreadsheets together. We have the ability to update the data within those links. And then we can also establish things like relationship direction. You know, those would be things like your parent-child relationships. Now, if I go to here under Power Pivot Window, and this is really where it's kind of important, in our data warehousing environment, what we really want to do is we want to identify the tools that are available to us. So the tools that are available to us in a data warehousing environment as it pertains to SQL Server 2012 is certainly SQL Server Management Studio, SSIS, which is basically Visual Studio. Within Visual Studio, we can create a SQL Server Integration Services project a SQL Server reporting project, and then outside of Visual Studio, we also have Microsoft Excel. Within Microsoft Excel, we have this Power Pivot window, and I'm gonna go ahead and just select this. We can see, once I've selected the Power Pivot window, it gives me the ability to go out and attach to additional databases. So what I can do is I can attach to additional databases and bring data in. Now, this part right here is really super neat. We have the ability to bring in data from a specific database. We can bring in data from a given report from a SQL Server reporting services, or we can bring in data from the Azure Marketplace. If you're not familiar with the Azure Marketplace, the Azure Marketplace is strictly Microsoft SQL Server's cloud data warehouse. And in that scenario, you can subscribe to this membership. You would pay SQL Server or you'd pay Microsoft a specific fee, and then they would manage all of your data in the cloud. Now this is traditionally used in the data warehousing type of environment. So we really have three ways to connect here. We can bring in data directly from a database, from a report, or from the Azure Marketplace. 
Also within here, we can do certain things like create KPIs. And this is a little bit different than what you would normally see in an Excel spreadsheet. Typically, we would have the ability to do this, that is do the auto sum. But here we can create the KPIs. KPI stands for Key Performance Indicators. So we're all judged on these type of things and we have what are key performance indicators? Those would be, have we hit our sales goal? Have we hit our targeted objectives goal? Those type of things. So if we have a sales goal of $10,000, that would be a key performance indicator of 10,000. And then we can also create reports and thermometer types of things and bar graphs that would tell us where we're at within that KPI. So now if I come over here and just real briefly as a demo, we're going to go ahead and open up from a database. And here I can say, bring the data in from SQL Server. Do I want to bring the data in from an access database? Or do I want to bring this in from an analysis service project or from another Power Pivot project? So basically, I can grab my data from wherever it's at. So I'm going to go ahead and grab it from SQL Server. When I do this, it's going to say, OK, what is the server name that you're going to connect to? And this is just like creating a connection manager that you would normally connect under SSIS. And I'm just going to say localhost. And here it's giving me what's referred to as a friendly connection name. And here we're saying SQL Server localhost. And I'm just going to go ahead and leave that as it is. You can name it whatever you want. I can come over here and I could name it product data connection. We're going to go over here and select the database. And we're just going to go ahead and select this database. Obviously, I always highly recommend that we do the test connection, and it has succeeded. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit Next. And now here's the cool part. It's immediately going to go out and it says, okay, what are the tables or views that you want to bring into this Power Pivot project? Or I can simply write a query that's going to go out and extract the same information or similar information. So again, I'm going to come over here and say Select from List of Tables or Views. And then here it's going to go out and identify the tables I can select from. I'm just going to select one for our purposes right now. And it's going to go very, very quickly. We can see that we have imported 296 records. Everything is completed. Now if I go ahead and hit close, I can see that the data is automatically brought in. Now the really nice thing is now immediately from here, I can create my KPIs, I can do my auto sums, I can do all of these things. So I'm going to go ahead and close this guy out right now. And then the most important thing that I want to remind you of is the different tools that we have within our data warehousing solution. I'm going to come over here, and this is my SQL Server Management Studio tool. I'm then going to the Start, All Programs, and I'm going to go to SQL Server 2012, and then I'm going to pick up SQL Server Data Tools. So here we have Microsoft Visual Studio, and within Microsoft Visual Studio, if I do a File, and I do a New, I can create a new project. Over here on the left-hand side where it says Business Intelligence, these are the types of projects that I can create. And I can create these projects under Visual Studio. It can be an analysis services project, an integration services project, or a reporting services project. I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of here. So we have Visual Studio as one of the tools within our data warehousing solution. And then finally, we have Excel as another tool within our data warehousing solution within a SQL Server 2012 environment.